but the Niners thrive at home because Stevie sets the stage and Jerry brings the house down. Now, live from the Fox Television Center in Hollywood, four guys who know a lot about women and not too much about sinning. Hallelujah, baby. It's the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Hallelujah, indeed. Week number 11 in the NFL season and a big Sunday doubleheader coming your way here on Fox. Headlined by a couple of the league's top franchises, the Niners and the Cowboys squaring off. Also today, a team on the verge of greatness. The Green Bay Packers storm into Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. And hello again, everyone. I'm James Brown, welcoming you to another great day of football right here on Fox NFL Sunday. Pleased to be with my colleagues, as usual, Terry, Howie, and Ronnie. Hats off to Evander Holyfield. Now, I know, I know you guys saw the fight last night. No, I didn't see the fight, but Ronnie did. He took my rental car went to Frankie, the research guy's house, calls me from there and says, I was going to get you, but you know, you go to bed at 9 o'clock. I said, well, can you tape it? He shows up this morning. We ride to work together. You know, we're, we're <laughs> He said, Frankie and I could figure out how to work the VCR. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look, I got to tell you one thing. You're a boxing champ. I don't have to worry about that. You'll see the fight eventually. <laughs> hey, Big Boy was a boxing champ at Villanova. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Villanova? <laughs> How afraid would you be of somebody that says, hey, I'm a fighter for Villanova? Name Howard. Name Howard. Name, no, name yeah. Howard. Move on. All right, folks. Here's a look at what's happening around the NFL. When the season ends, the hapless New York Jets intend to pursue Carolina general manager Bill Polian to help rebuild their franchise. Now, the only downer for Jets fans is that Polian actually likes current coach Rich Kotite. Now, of course, the problem with success is the potential of losing valuable employees. After losing quarterback coach Steve Mariucci last season to the University of California, Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator Sherm Lewis was interviewed yesterday for Kentucky's head coaching job. And continuing in its quest to curtail cheap shots and unnecessary violence, League Commissioner Paul Tagliabue, along with Jerry Seaman, who is the director of officiating, held an unprecedented meeting this week with John Tierlink, the assistant head coach of the Lions. At issue, the long history of questionable knee-level hits by Tierlink's defensive linemen. Well, I'll tell you what, they should have booked the same flight for Bob McKittrick. I guarantee he's butchered. Let me hold you he's back. He's butchered more defensive <laughs> linemen McKittrick. than John Tierlink's defensive linemen of her quarterback. I can guarantee you that. Of course, McKittrick, the offensive line, line coach. coach for the 49ers. For the 49ers. Mm. Guy. He's nice on guy. my Christmas list. Well, for let's VCR. take a look at what evidence the league had. Citing videotape from the last three years, Commissioner Tagliabue believes Tierlink has taught harmful methods and threatened the coach with suspension should his players continue using these dangerous tactics. All right, folks, time now for our Fox Watch. And for that, we begin in Kansas City, where the 6-3 and three Chiefs take on the team with the NFC's best record, the Green Bay Packers, and calling that game our own boxing guy, Dick Stock. All right, JB, everything's up to date in Kansas City, where it is cold and gray, and these teams have a history. They competed, as you know, in Super Bowl I in Los Angeles 30 years ago, and many prognosticators picked both the Chiefs and Packers to meet in this year's Super Bowl on Fox. It's going to be a tough game for the Packers with this crowd. The tailgaters came out early outside Arrowhead Stadium. Brett Favre, the Packer quarterback, told us when he played here three years ago, couldn't hear a thing in the red zone. The crowd could be a factor today. The walking wounded for the Green Bay Packers, we can report, will all start today, and that includes Don Beebe, a new father. As for the Kansas City Chiefs, this is going to be a banner day for number 32, Marcus Allen, the ageless wonder can break three records, one by just stepping out on the field, that one mostly to Tupu's mark, and two other records also within reach. That's the story here in Kansas City. Right now, let's send you to RFK Stadium in Washington and Tom Brenneman. Dick, thank you very much. A three and six Arizona Cardinals come to RFK to battle the seven and two Washington Redskins and the man running this seven and two operation, Norv Turner. Coach, you're coming off a disappointing loss last week. How was practice and the preparation for this one? Well, we, we had great urgency during practice. Uh, uh, we're back in our division. We're at home. We know how important this football game is. A lot of teams, Coach, still say the elite teams are Green Bay. Some say Dallas, San Francisco. You guys are seven and two. Are you in that mix? Well, I think you have to go with the teams that have been there. Uh, all, the three teams you mentioned have been in the playoffs, been in the championship game, been in the Super Bowl. Hey, we're a young team trying to establish ourselves. Uh, we are getting better. Uh, we would like to think we're in that mix. We'll find out over the next six weeks. Coach, for thanks for being with us, and uh, the best of luck. Thank you. 
That's the story here in Washington. One footnote, Arizona will start quarterback Boomer Esiason today in place of Kent Graham. Let's now go to Joe Buck. All right, here in St. Louis, a couple of struggling teams getting together. Easy to be negative about these two, but why do that? A lot of bright spots on each side. None bigger than Isaac Bruce for the St. Louis Rams. Consider what he has done his first 37 games of his NFL career. Numbers comparable only to the great Jerry Rice. One thing we know about the Rams and the Falcons, when the Falcons come to town, Isaac Bruce is ready to go. And in the wake of the recent election, here in St. Louis, they like Ike. We like Ike. We like James Brown. Back in Hollywood, JB. Doubleheader Sunday here on Fox. The big game coming your way later. The Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Irvin, Rice, Sanders and company later today. And the other games that you will see, if not that one, include Chicago and Denver. That from Colorado. Or the Vikings and the Seahawks from the Kingdom. Of course, we'll have more on the Cowboys and 49ers in just a bit. Right now, let's turn our attention to the Denver Broncos, a team with a record of 8-1, and one, better than both the Niners and the Cowboys. But Bronco fans have reason to be a little concerned today. John Elway with a bad hamstring. Take a look. This is Monday night, leaving the game in that comeback victory. Severely injured left hamstring, received treatment all week. Terry, the question is, we know how mobile Elway is. How much will that bad hamstring affect Denver's offense? He answered it. It takes away his mobility, it takes away his ability to scramble. It's his left hamstring. Will it affect him passing? No, because when you pass, you push off with the right leg. So that's okay. Plus, he's in the shotgun. That saves some wear and tear on the hamstring because he doesn't have to drop back. When does he get his rushing yardage? If you play man coverage against John Elway, especially when he goes three wides, a tight end, and one back, which is when he's done most of his rushing, also, it has to be short yardage. Three yards or left on third down, teams play tight coverage. That's man coverage. Now, if on third and three, John, now look, Ronnie's the defensive back. Notice, hold it right there. Ronnie turned his back. <laughs> <laughs> Man coverage. See ya. I can run right by. See you, big guy. I'm down the road. But, but if it's zone, how he takes off. Now, Ronnie's looking right at me. Now, when I scramble, he's got me. See you, big guy. The, da the damage is versus man coverage. I don't think the Bears are going to do that, Howie, simply because Elway has no threat to run. Yeah, I talked to Dave once that they're going to play a four-cross zone. They're going to bracket Shannon Sharp with Mintner and Carter, and that's a big key. How do you stop Sharp? This guy, Shanahan, gets more mismatches than Don King. Poor Dave wants that nine guys on IR. He's got to hope for snow. He's got to hope for a twinge. And he's got to hope for a Hail Mary today to beat the Denver Broncos. And Shanahan said this, Howie, on third down, they're worried because they think Elway is going to get a lot of blitzes. So he's got to be concerned about that hamstring. And don't be surprised if Elway doesn't play, especially if Green Bay knocks off Kansas City, who play right before his He's game. limped into a whole bunch of stadiums. <laughs> Sadie, that's playing, right. And I don't buy that. <laughs> okay, I, I just threw it out Did there. Did you greet defensive players like that? <laughs> uh, we'll leave that one well, alone. Yeah. It's a better play. Later on in my career, <laughs> let's check out me. what else is on tap for today's show. On tap! Today, on the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Yes. Marcus Allen has suited up more than any running back in NFL history. And with one more rushing TD, he'll become the league's all-time leader. Ronnie gets it straight from the Chiefs running back, who's got reservations in the history books. Also, he's exceeded nearly every record for catching a football. But some recent events off the field have caused Jerry Rice to reassess life beyond the gridiron. Pam Oliver catches up with the Niners' star receiver, who measures his success in a whole new light. Then, first they lost Robert Brooks and then Antonio Freeman. Trouble in Green Bay? Not so fast there, cheeseheads. Terry looks at Brett Favre's adjustment to the new faces in the Packers' huddle. Coming up, coming at you, the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Fox. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. The change is forever. By EA Sports, now with a lineup of sports games made for your PC. By Motel 6, we'll leave the light on for you. And by Porsche, who wish to remind you there is no substitute. Time for the Porsche quarterback report. Blonde Bomber, who do you like? This is so easy. I called my mom, Novice Genoa. Asked her, who do you think this week, mom? She said, 
Well, baby, Brett threw three interceptions, only had one touchdown pass the last time he played KC. Bledsoe had a big week last week. Go with Bledsoe. I'm going with Bledsoe. Mama's name is what? Novice Genoa. Boy, oh boy, back with a look at Philadelphia and Buffalo after this. And a reminder, coming up later today, most of you will see Dallas taking on San Francisco. Others will see the Bears at mile high against the Broncos, the Vikings taking on the Seahawks. As we come back inside the Fox Television Center, we start with thoughts on any of those games with Ronnie. Well, I can tell you this. I talked to William Floyd. He expects to have a big contribution in today's game. As a matter of fact, they're going to start with him probably on the first play, using him out of the backfield. You know, that backfield has not been the same, and that team, in my mind, has not been the same since Ricky Waters left. As Jimmy Johnson said on this show last year, earlier in the year, you just don't lose big-time, big-play guys. You just can't find them driving down the street. This offensive line of Dallas versus the defensive line of San Francisco, to me, is a dream matchup. This is a heavyweight scene since last night. <laughs> this is going to be a big fight. That's well played, by the way. Thank if you. you're looking at Denver and Elway with the injury, don't be surprised he throws short early. Then once they come clamping, when the Bears will do, then the old slant and go like Monday night against the Raiders, they'll do that. You've been and talking for those of you go. watching Washington, they like those gadgets, those flea flickers. If the game gets close in the fourth quarter, watch all this fancy stuff with a lateral back to the quarterback. <laughs> Long touchdown pass. Clairvoyant one is I back. I think last night you were sitting I'm not there, through yet, I Ronnie. think last night you were sitting in bed <laughs> going, slant and go. You know, Star my, Wars, you know, slant and go, Star Wars, slant and go, uh, swan. He what was, is up with the slant and go? All I do Cliff is get Harris on the internet and sleep. work. Well, you guys are Cliff playing. Harris. I'm working. Cliff yeah. Harris. <laughs> He gets Boy, angry. These guys you are wired up. Guys All right, folks. Now. A reminder once again more pounds, they're coming away later today. Off. Some big games Dallas, San Francisco, Chicago, Denver, Minnesota, and Seattle right here on Fox. Oh, by the way, we want to say congratulations to a Fox family member, Lisa Christie, married to Los Angeles Dodger, Billy Ashley. Congratulations and a salute to all of our veterans. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. Absolutely. For Ronnie, Howie, and Terry, we'll see you later on Fox. Sit down. Sit down. He's good.